Uh, let's start off with the car that's also a little bit green. The world's first production fuel cell vehicle comes to us from Toyota. It's the Mirai. It's not coming to India anytime soon, but it could be the next revolution, just like the Prius was. Mirai means future in Japanese, and so it truly fits Toyota's claim that the future is here. The Mirai is Toyota's first mass production hydrogen power fuel cell car and it comes after 20 years and millions of dollars being invested in research and development by the Japanese car maker. So could this be the next Prius? Now the Mirai does have a fairly interesting and futuristic kind of design. Uh, some of it might look a little awkward and weird at front but you know the overall shape is very unique and that's what Toyota really wants to highlight with the design. Bring in that element of being different. This is a fuel cell technology and the design is incorporated so that as much air gets in from every element of the design. Uh, what strikes you from the front the most are these big grills, fairly big grills on either side of the bumper. The idea is to let in the air streamline well into the fuel cells and get in as much air to generate that much more power. Uh, also the overall shape is kind of a water drop design in line with what uh, Toyota wants to talk about with the fuel cell technologies. So the Mirai design is not for everyone, especially with its slightly awkward proportions, but the interior will give you something to smile about. It looks more futuristic than the Prius with a couple of black touchscreen panels below the curved dashboard. On the top center of the dash, there's a speedometer, gear indicator and driving details of the powertrain. Below this is a navigation and infotainment screen carried forward from the Prius. Impressive quality of the cabin materials and the 8-way adjustable seats make this fairly appealing. Decent headroom up front, but in the rear, the headroom takes a hit with the placement of the hydrogen tanks below the floor. Boot space is efficient at 371 litres. Now before we drive the Mirai, we thought we'll give you guys a short glimpse of what lies under the hood because that's the real exciting part, isn't it? And in terms of overall layout, it looks fairly simple. But remember, hydrogen is a quite a complicated technology to kind of generate power out of. But the layout is fairly simple under the hood. You've got the two big hydrogen tanks at the back where the refueling happens. And you've got that power generating here. You can see the blue and the orange strips that generates power all the way to the power control unit as well as the motor. You've got the fuel cell boost converter right in the middle, which ensures that the power from the uh, hydrogen tanks gets delivered to the motor as well as the power control unit in the middle. So how exactly does all this work together? The gas goes through a hydrogen fuel cell stack that mixes oxygen with the hydrogen. This reaction generates electricity to charge the onboard battery. The car is powered by the 114 kilowatt fuel cell stack along with a 113 kilowatt electric motor on board. The combination of hydrogen and oxygen creates pure water, which is dumped while driving or when parked through the tailpipe. Now Toyota claims that Mirai gives a range of 650 kilometers with the two hydrogen tanks under its Japanese test cycle, but the real world driving distance could be just about 550 kilometers. And here's the other big surprise. Unlike electric vehicles which take time to charge, refilling the tank of the Mirai with hydrogen will take less than 5 minutes. Currently only 10 hydrogen stations exist in Japan with a plan to set up another 100 by the end of 2015. Toyota has looked to address concerns of the Mirai safety by ensuring the hydrogen and the tanks are crash safe and can handle high speed accidents too with no fear of explosion or fire. The Mirai is also equipped with sensors to provide warnings and shut off the tank's main stop valves in case of a leak. Uh, we're not doing cruising speed, so we really need to test that out, how responsive it is at higher speeds, but the engine does feel fairly powerful. Also, you do have the option of um, getting into power mode, which releases more power hydrogen into the uh, fuel cells, which gets into the electric motor, so you can have a little fun with the Mirai. The car is a bit like the Prius to drive, but unlike the Prius, it remains completely silent since there's no gasoline engine at play here at all. The car does promise a punch with its 335 Nm of torque and over 150 horses. 
The reason why the drive is very similar to the Prius is because in an attempt to keep the costs down, the Mirai does borrow quite a bit from the electric powertrain of the Prius. But this is a heavier car, at about 1850 kilos and you feel it when you push the car around corners. The steering and the braking impressed in the little time we got to drive the Mirai. On the flat stretch we drove the suspension did feel a bit stiff which does contribute to a better handling feel than the Prius though. Toyota has officially launched the Mirai in Japan and it will go to the US and select European markets by the second half of 2015. Priced at around $57,500 or approximately 35 lakh rupees, the price of the Mirai could get lower with select markets offering government incentives. Challenges like lack of hydrogen stations will be the biggest hurdle. So Toyota is ensuring that the Mirai launches in a phased manner. But for now, we're happy to show you this slice of the future, right here on CNB.